Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and we are back in Project 1999 on Malik Dory, and we are in Negrofin's lair at the Royals having some fun. But that's not why I wanted to talk to you today, I wanted to talk to you about something different. Guilds. So I've been in several guilds through the time that I've been playing EverQuest. I was in a guild called Front Page that lasted for a little bit of time, <laughs> not very long. I was in the Kittens Who Say Meow for a very long time. And before I continue on, let's just talk about the Kittens. I love that guild. Um, I had a lot of friends in the guild. I had a lot of fun in that guild. And when I took a short break um, a long time ago, it's been about a year now, I came back to a guild that was not what I was a part of before. They had grown immensely, and they had started raiding. And uh, while I like raiding, and I like having fun um, traversing the game, the fact that I had no clue who any of the individuals were in um, the kittens anymore really had, I don't know, it, it really bothered me. So there was a few people that I talked to, but every time I got on, every time I logged off, I felt like I was in a guild that I knew no one it was it was like standing in a, in a street and in in Tokyo and those big massive sidewalks where they're crossing all over the place and I'm standing right in the middle of those people and no one pays attention to me no one sees me everyone's going about their day I'm doing what I'm doing on my own and there it is that's how I felt so I ended up leaving. It was a while later that I went ahead and joined the Black Harp Pirates. I was in them for a long time and ended up leaving because I have anxiety anyway to be in big, um, or to be around a lot of people anyway. So I left them a while back and decided uh, just recently that I would join them again. And... Had had a lot of fun, doing well, all that's going great. And just recently, just last week, they decided they were going to change the way they do raids. Now, I haven't done any raids with them yet, but they really turned off a lot of people by what they did last week. And that is they implemented a point system for raids. Now, as far as I know, as far as I've heard so far, they haven't used that point system yet, but it definitely has been causing waves in the guild because while last week we had a TOV raid and we had eight clerics, this week we had two. And that tells me that there's some issues going on. Um, also, this last Saturday, we had a Sky Raid, which we always do Sky every Saturday. And um, some new members to the guild, members that have come from probably Rampage or DBA, but they've been in raiding guilds, have been trying to push the, um, the officers and the leader to do bigger things go further than they have before when we're not ready. And the reason we're not ready is because we don't have the equipment to take on things that they want us to take on. And this weekend they maddened T-Par. Uh, T-Par, who is also known as Ascent, is the guild leader of the Black Heart Pirates. And um, I, I have to wonder... If T-Par got on yesterday, if T-Par didn't want to be a part of that, that raid because of that kind of thing. And while I don't know when this is going up, uh, it may be a few days from the actual time these things have happened. 
um, I feel that it definitely has to be causing issues. And I'll tell you my feelings on them. When you're in a guild like Forsaken or BDA or uh, Rampage or whatever guild it is that's at the top tier at the moment, Aftermath or, um, or whoever it is, they run on a different kind of mentality and process than what a casual guild does. They have people who scout zones for them. They have points that they're always giving out for people staying online to wait for a mob to spawn. And when that mob spawns, phones start ringing and people start getting on and they do that kill. So one day they may be doing 10 uh, dragon or 10 named kills or they may be doing two or they may be doing plane of hate or they may be taking out Kazakh thrall or they may be doing um a plane of hate for uh plane of hate so the the thing i'm trying to get you to understand is that a lot of people in these guilds who are have a high rate attendance and have a high policy of helping the guild uh, camp mobs are always building DKP. They're always getting points. And whenever something comes along that they want, they fight over that item with their points. And while it's not a fisticuffs, I hate you kind of, I, well, maybe there is, but it's not like they're, they're grabbing at each other's necks over the item, but they will make people lose all their points uh, if they know that they have more points. And what they'll end up doing, if it's an open, the, here's the difference, is there's an open DKP auction and there's a closed DKP option, or auction, rather. And if you are part of a guild who does an open DKP auction, a person will, say, have 500 DKP accrued. And this other person has 300. So what do they do? They go, the one with the 500 will say, I want to spend 200 points. The person with 300 will say, I want to spend 300 points. And then now this person knows that that guy has no more points. So he throws in... 25 more points and he wins the item now what he's done is he has essentially taken all that time that person worked on those points and threw them all the way because he knew that that person would um not be able to have enough points to take this item instead of just straight up saying 400 points I'm going to, I will spend 400 points on that item. This other person wouldn't have uh, even had the ability to spin, uh, to auction for it. It's game over. So, I mean, I don't think that happens a lot. Maybe it does. You and the raid guilds may know better than I do. But there is a different mindset, a different way that you raid in those guilds. Whenever you're talking about a casual guild, you're talking about a guild that does zones that they know that they can do. And they camp things that they know they can camp. And gear is uh, given out in a certain way. For the dark heart, or for the black heart pirates, rather, they give it out in randoms. Random 300, random 500, whatever it is that they are doing, they'll say paladins, uh, random uh, 300 for this item, because it's a paladin only item from Plane of Sky. Or if they're in TOV, they'll say all plate classes roll on this plate item. And that is how casual guilds should run is they should run on a system that is consistent and doesn't um, hinder people from being able to get the same items as other people but whenever they enter into adding points to black heart pirates they decided they were going to choose when they're going to use the points so it's not they're going to use points all the time they're only going to choose when to use the points. And what I hear from that is that um, a breastplate, whenever it drops from TOV, that's when they're going to choose to use those points. And while I don't really see too much of an issue with that, because if you're going based off of raid attendance, then a person who has attended more raids is going to get that item, is going to get that breastplate. 
and um, probably deserves it because of whatever the class it is and so on. But it also hinders people because not everybody can be at every raid. That's why they're in a casual guild is because they raid whenever they have the time because real life is real life. That's just how it works. And um, so it hinders those people, people who have real lives, people who don't dedicate their whole life to EverQuest uh, for, for their guild. Um, so... Uh, you know, that's the only hindrance of that kind of system. And uh, essentially, it has definitely hindered um, the Black Heart Pirates. Now, the week that I heard about the, the points, I decided I was going to leave. I joined a casual guild. I didn't join a randy guild. I don't go to raids because I want gear. I go to raids because I want the... Uh, adventure, to learn tactics, to have fun, and if it's possible, I'll, I get an item. But I didn't join a raiding guild who's going to uh, use points against uh, against us uh, whenever they feel it is um, of their um, of their liking. So, anyway, I ended up changing over to the guild that my necromancer is in which is Paradox, which is a small guild, which is what I like, that is raiding, and um, it's helping people do epics and having fun, and and is not dealing with this whole system of, of, um, of trying to put themselves in the, so, uh, in the slot of a raid guild when they're nowhere uh, even close to ready for that, for that status. I mean, they are raiding, yes, but they are not a uh, in-game raid guild. <laughs> they raid maybe a few times a week. They don't raid every day. I mean, that's, I don't know. Hey, tell me how you feel on this. What do you think about that? Do you feel that in a casual guild that maybe you're in, if they initialize something like that, would you have a lot of problems with it? Now, I took a different step. I went a different route. I decided, you know, I'm going to get out now. I don't want to stay around and have to deal with this. Um, and other friends of mine said, well, look, I'm a needed class in these raids. But if they're going to do these DK, uh, if they're not going to, if they're going to do these RAP points, I'm not going. <laughs> so, um, I, anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll let you mull it over, have some fun, and um, uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.